Welcome back to the channel. Um, as always, hit like and subscribe. Uh, you would have noticed in the intro that you just watched uh, for today's video, we're looking at the Grasshopper 2, and obviously we are going to fit the Ampro Engineering gearbox brace. Now, um, I ordered this part some time ago, and I've had it sitting here, and I've been wanting to get around to it, and basically after my last video, which was the, to me, a Hornet uh, build that I did for a one of my subscribers, uh, it got me sort of really, really back into the older sort of hopper style cars. So I have pulled out my Grasshopper 2, as you can see. Um, now there's a few little upgrades on this car already. I've upgraded, um, I've, it's, it's kind of built out of bits and pieces that were left over from other cars. Now, um, a long time ago I stole parts off this to put onto some of my other cars. So I've slowly been putting uh, this back together and just with some bits and pieces I had left over. So as you can see, pretty standard looking Grasshopper 2. I've got some Hornet rear um, oil shocks on it, um, nothing changed at the front. Painted up some old tyres that came on another car that was silver and I just did them green at the time. We've done a 540 motor upgrade, so it comes with that 380 I think standard. So we'll put the 540 silver can in there. Um, so it performs quite well and the only thing that was really really letting it down was just that characteristic gearbox slap. Um, so I've installed the brace already and as you can see the back end is quite solid now, still get your normal uh, gearbox up and down movement and the articulation side to side. So uh, that's quite cool that you can still maintain that uh, articulation and your normal uh, suspension travel. So um, I'm going to flip to some footage today um, and like I said if you haven't already seen that Hornet build I just did for a subscriber, um, yeah I'll put a link throughout the video you can check that out. So yeah, let's flip to some footage of me um, showing you how to install the brace and then we'll take it outside, we'll do a run and then I will let you know uh, basically what I think of this upgrade, is it worthwhile and would it be something I would recommend. So let's go put it on the car. So as you can see, you pull the back of the car apart there, the uh, gearbox uh, just comes free and remove the battery uh, door as well because that's where you will obviously install the gearbox brace. Uh, as you can see it's a nice piece of uh, engineered sort of plastic, it's the Ampro part as I've already told you guys. Now uh, apparently it's made just to sit straight in there so you can see the, uh, the groove there in the plastic fits straight into the groove here so it eliminates any issues of having to line up the part. Uh, and the only thing you have to do is put one screw uh, into the chassis. Now there is two holes, but even on the Ampro engineering um, sort of tutorial on how to install this, he recommends only using the one screw through the threaded hole. So we'll go ahead, we'll uh, make a little mark there, we'll put our three mil hole in there so that we can obviously attach this to the car. I'll clean this up a little bit also and we'll get it all back together. So we've just drilled our uh, pilot hole plus I've installed the brace um, and as you can see on the inside of the uh, battery tray there I've just put a small screw through into the one side there and as I said that's very solid that's not going anywhere. So as you can already see if I put the gearbox back up there's obviously still allows for that articulation side by side but uh, obviously there's none of that up and down gearbox slap that's associated with the factory um, setup. So I'll go ahead and put the rest of the car back together and then I'll uh, let you guys know what I think once it's all together and we'll see how the suspension moves and how, the, how it travels. So we'll just take the car out for a first sort of run with the new Ampro gearbox uh, brace on. As you can see, handles quite well and um, so far no, none of that gearbox slap. Um, I think it's also looking like it's uh, you know helping the characteristics of the car handle better. You can see we've got the car all back together now. 
that's the brace there. Uh, as you can see, uh, it still allows that articulation side to side and normal suspension movement. And, and obviously, the there's no up and down gearbox slap like you would normally find with the Grasshopper and other Hopper vehicles. So I would actually think that this is an awesome upgrade. Uh, and obviously, there's nothing that interferes with the back battery door as well, as you can see. Ampro Engineering have ensured that uh, all clearances are made. So I guess the only thing is we can take it outside and do a little bit of a test run to see how it goes. Now it's uh, pouring down rain at the moment but uh, we might just give it a little test drive out on the driveway. But as you can see it definitely looks like it's made a huge difference. So hopefully you've enjoyed today's video on the uh, upgrades, the Ampro Engineering upgrade to the rear gearbox section of the Grasshopper 2. Now something I didn't cover um, before was, is that this uh, brace upgrade will suit the Grasshopper 2 and the Super Hornet because they run the same tub chassis. Now um, if you would have picked up um, the Hornet build that I just did for one of my subscribers runs a different, uh, runs the Grasshopper chassis, uh, which has the different battery door. So I actually prefer the Grasshopper 2 and the Super Hornet chassis um, purely because the battery door doesn't fly off um, if you go over a jump and whatnot. So obviously this one's uh, retained in with the body post pins. But uh, with that being said, you would have noticed that in that run footage, you would have noticed that uh, it didn't have that sort of hop characteristic and like the rear end of the car was hopping and always sort of losing traction. Um, and that's purely down to obviously having that more rigid um, suspension uh, set up with the gearbox and obviously what the brace is doing itself. So would I recommend it? Would I buy it again? And um, is it worth the money? So yes, I would definitely buy another one of these. If I, if I did have another Grasshopper um, or a Super Hornet, I would definitely be buying another one of these. And as I said at the start of the video, I do have the gearbox brace for um, my Tamiya lunchbox, and I will be putting that on that car as well because it does suffer from that same um, slapping of the gearbox under throttle. So uh, I think all up it cost me around 20 something dollars um, for the gearbox brace. It's available on the Shapeways website under Ampro Engineering. Um, one thing that I didn't mention too was the Shapeways parts, um, either paint them or clear coat them. I, I only left it white um, just so I could show you on the video. Um, the part that I was installing so I may take it off and paint it black now that I know that it works and that I'm happy with it um, but I purely just left it that white nylon color for the video so yes definitely recommend it it definitely makes it a lot better handling car now um, what next for this car I've got some new tires on order and I may look at doing some uh, more suspension upgrades and putting some, some better um, front and rear oil shocks, even though I do have the Hornet standard shocks that I've put on it that are oil dampers. So, um, but other than that, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Hopefully anyone who's got a Grasshopper 2 or a Super Hornet 
out there um, who's maybe been looking at doing this. Hopefully my video has made that um, decision a little bit easier for you and shown you how easy it is to do. So um, as always, I'll leave it there for today. Uh, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. Your support is very much appreciated. And um, lots of, as I said guys, lots of other projects. I've got some time off at the moment, so I'll be putting a few more videos out than usual. So I'll see you on the next video. Bye.